Hey guys, today I'm going to be having a video showing you, um, demonstrating my new hamster ball and talking a little bit about it. The reason I'm doing a video on the hamster ball is because I've never seen one like this before. And if you saw my recent haul from PetStore.com, you know I picked this up there for just a little over $5. So I thought it was a really good deal. And this does include a stand and you can use it three different ways, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, but this is by Van Ness and it just says hamster three ways exercise ball. I have the blue one here. They do come in a variety of colors, but on PetStore.com you aren't allowed to specify your color. Um, if you know any other places you can get these, make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know. Because I haven't seen the ones with the stand anywhere else. And I will have a link directly to this in case you're interested down in the description. So I'm going to go ahead and try to take this out of the box. Um, I haven't even opened it yet, so... Ellie doesn't know what's going on. So first I'll take out, here is the stand it comes with. And then here is half the ball with this little hamster sticker in here. Go ahead and take that out. It's pretty cute, I'll probably be saving that. And here is the other half with the normal lid. I'm gonna break it before I even get it put together. And then here is another lid that you can actually use to keep it in the cage at all time. So that's all it comes with. Um, it does have some instructions and stuff on the back, which I looked at briefly. So first, I'm just going to go ahead and take this top off. And I'm going to snap these two halves together real fast. So it ended up being not quite as quick as I thought it would, so I went ahead and put it together. Um, it does tell you how to put it together on the box with the little A and B tabs, but the two halves are kind of flimsy, so I really didn't want to break it, and I took my time with it, and it is together now and solid. So first, I'm just going to put the regular lid on. Um, I noticed it does snap in very, very tight, it seems like. It seems like it's actually tighter than my Super Pet ones that I normally have. So here it is, just like that, and you can just use it as a normal 7-inch ball. Um, for your dwarfs or Syrian hamsters or anything like mice. Um, so that is just the normal ball. It just has the slits on the sides. And then you can also just take this, which is what I got it for, and there are two holes on the ends and you can just pop it right in this plastic stand. So you can put your hamster in there and they just run while it's on the stand. So you can just sit them there and watch them run. Um, it is nice and silent. And it feels sturdy, like they're not going to be getting that off the stand at all. So that is the second way it can be used. The final way is it comes with this extra end. And you can just pop this off, and I haven't tried this one out yet. And just put it in like the normal. And snap it on and put it right back on the stand. And now you can actually use this in your hamster's cage full time like as a wheel because as you can see when it's on the stand this end is completely open so your hamster can get in and out of there whenever they want and they can just run on this like an enclosed wheel. Um, it is a really good option I think because like I said it does sound pretty silent. We'll see how it is after I use it but it might be a good option for a wheel um, since it is only about five dollars and it is seven inches around so it would be great for a dwarf or a robo. I'm going to go ahead and get one of my hamsters, um, put it in here, and show you guys how they like it. Okay, so I have my dwarf hamster Cheerio in here. Um, I decided on him because he really seems to like running in the ball when I clean his cage. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on there. Snap it in and make sure it's secure. And I'm going to tip him over and put it right in the stand. And we'll see how he runs in it. Might take him a while to figure it out just because he is used to being able to go any direction he wants and of course he can only go one way in this ball. So it did take a little while for him to figure it out just because he's not used to just running um, one direction but it looks like he is going pretty good now. Um, I do really like this ball so far just because it was only $5 so it was at a really good price point and it's just something different that I haven't really seen before in pet stores. I um, mean, it allows you to let your hamster get out and run while keeping them in one place. And I like that it also comes with this end, so you can just keep it in their cage as a type of wheel, 
which is another cool option that I'll probably end up trying out too. Um, so if you've tried this ball or know anywhere you can get it or have any thoughts on it, make sure to leave it in the comments down below. Once again, the link to it will be in the comments also in case you're interested in ordering it. Um, I don't believe that PetStore.com ships internationally in case anyone's wondering. Um, if you like this video, make sure to thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.